Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, let's discuss about the test doubles, which are stubs and mocks. Uh, pretty much what is a stub, what is a mock, and what is the difference between stub and a mock, when to use a stub, and when to use a mock, when you stub a model, what is the benefit that we get when we mock a model or uh, an object, what is the benefit that we get. So let's discuss this with an example, let's say. Uh, I have a uh, user profile uh, uh, service uh, which fetches the user profile given a user ID and it returns the user profile, user profile having ID and the name. Now I have a model called profile manager uh, which uh, gets the display name uh, for a user ID by calling the user profile service by passing the user ID. If not it returns the guest and if uh, uh, if we if it is able to fetch the profile it returns the profile name so that's basically uh, the functionality so uh, how to unit test this how to write the uh, test scripts uh, for this for example if i want to validate uh, two things uh, we need to validate uh, usually uh, whether uh, uh, if profile manager is getting the response from the user profile uh, how it is behaving whether it is giving the pro proper uh, profile name given from the uh, uh, API call. So first to validate that, so we need to create a stub. So first thing what we are uh, doing is, uh, uh, it's we need to test profile uh, manager behavior uh, when the service which is nothing but the fetch uh, profile service if it returns a if it uh, returns a profile so here we have to use a stub so let's write a stub why because stubs are used for uh, uh, the main purpose of the stub is generally to isolate the unit of work from external dependencies and ensure that the unit test runs consistently. So external dependencies here in the sense uh, here uh, instead of we waiting for uh, the uh, service response or something so we can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, create a uh, uh, create a, a stub which returns uh, a sample user profile response so let's write a uh, stub over here so instead of here let's write a stub here um, so let me write a stub for example uh, user user profile service stub i want to write so which is confirm sorry which conforms to the user profile here the idea is instead of this uh, depending on an api call the idea is to make it uh, a predetermined to create a predetermined environment that means so here we if we want uh, we create a user profile uh, with id and name Predetermined. let's say the id is 20 and the name i would say like some alex so here we don't need to call uh, uh, user profile service sorry it is the protocol we instead of calling the uh, instead of relying on the service i just want to create an independent uh, just removing the external dependencies so that i can check the profile manager behavior assuming that uh, fetch uh, user profile service gives me some dummy data so not only this uh, we can have a negative scenario as well this is user profile service positive positive scenario where i want to uh, validate its uh, response where i can also create uh, uh, negative uh, stuff where uh, i would return it as null so i just want to check its behavior for example i'm assuming that okay the api is giving me a response so uh, what is the behavior of profile manager whether it is giving whether, whether it is able to give me the proper uh, display name i mean the expected display name or not and uh, even though if it if it fails that means if it is returning nil how 
my profile manager is behaving this is one part of test so for which uh, i need to write the test cases so this is how uh, we can write the test cases now now we can see the power of adding the stubs into our project so let me take a stub quickly which is nothing but uh, user profile service positive let's take a positive stub so i take a manager of course this is the manager that i want to so i pass the stub now uh, since it is a stub uh, the stub when you call it it always uh, gives the positive this is the positive stub so let's let me sorry let's uh, display name is equal to manager dot get uh, display name for and this is the user id i have given something uh, because i have to give but i just want to check its behavior uh, why because in the stub i have uh, uh, given uh, Uh, the name as so display name right and uh, the name as alex so it has to give me alex why because uh, this is the stub i have uh, created which is uh, uh, returning me alex so the get display name when i call it this is what i am testing it the profile manager behavior uh, when i call this it has to give me alex okay so let me run it quickly i think i am having some issues with latest uh, uh, xcode 15 i need to install some simulators but this will pass okay so here i have used a positive stub and uh, i have used a negative stub here uh, since it is a positive stub uh, so the display name is alex since it is a negative stub that means uh, the profile service returns still so the display name the logic that we have written is guest okay so let's run this uh, uh, test cases and see whether they are uh, working or not and it's it's very easy uh, instead of uh, calling a uh, network service call so using the stub uh, if we need to run our application offline also Uh, if our server is down services are not working if you want to do some ui changes or if you want to uh, just check some functionality or uh, 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 for example if a service based on uh, user account type it generates different different responses so instead of you taking three different credentials and running it uh, so doing uh, instead of doing all this uh, we can simply stub and uh, save a lot of time okay uh, so currently it's testing let's give it some time so pretty much while it is happening so pretty much those are steps so we provide uh, a specific response uh, like a specific uh, just a second yeah a specific response uh, positive or negative uh, to a method called to control the to control the flow of a test uh stubs uh, simulate real objects with the minimal methods needed for a test uh, they are programmed to produce the same result uh, uh, actually uh, based on a set of specific inputs uh it's it's basically uh, a dummy implementation of a method or object that is used as a placeholder in a test it's used as a placeholder uh, in the test uh, in general stubs are used to replace uh, real implementation of uh, methods or objects in order to just to simplify the testing so it made our uh, testing very simple uh, why because i don't need service calls over here i can just uh, uh, do the predetermined uh, response uh, for this service call and i can check the uh, behavior of my uh, profile manager class so that's the advantage of first uh, stub it stub exists just to supply enough data to keep things uh, going actually 
so it's a uh, it's it's also a stand a stand in piece of code but it can only imitate the behavior of a service or object so in this case pretty much uh, pretty much the service okay something with the testing but okay let me run this individually so that let me let me see okay so uh, I have given a positive negative uh, I think this is passed but this failed let's see why it is failing uh, this is the negative step negative step I have passed this is a positive step positive step positive step uh, guest is something we expected but it is saying like uh, profile service negative stuff so it return it is returning nil when it is returning nil that means if service dot fetch user profile it returns nil uh, then actually uh, guest is the one that that is expected so let me cop I'm oh, sorry let me copy and paste here uh, this is not display name now I need to make it where because that's the problem here so actually actually display name i need to take it again why because i have given a new step so let it be uh, let's run the test again that is the mistake i have done so my two test cases one two should be fair uh, should be sorry should be successful now see that's it has become pretty easy now now i can validate my uh, profile manager class using the stuff that's the pretty much advantage of uh, stuff uh, stuff so I can give a predetermined values to understand to just check the behavior of my class okay now what is mock uh, stubs are good but what is mock okay uh, if dependency is given if dependency is a predetermined for example fetch user profile response is giving you something so based on that I want to uh, check whether uh, my class profile manager is giving me correct display name or not which is fine and also uh, user profile service is a dependency to profile manager profile manager is depending on the user profile service now I just wanted to validate the dependencies I just wanted to validate the interactions so this profile manager behavior when the service returns a profile is a stub now why mocks mocks are uh, mocks are needed when uh, for testing if the profile manager uh, actually makes a calls to the service profile manager actually makes a call to the service which is nothing but a fetch user profile service so that is the dependency why because profile ma manager is having a dependency of service so it's just to see the interaction whether it is actually uh, making a call to the service uh, whether it is actually uh, the properties are correctly uh, correctly being passed or not so get display name uh, needs user id so user id is properly getting passed or not whether this function is uh, getting uh, uh, called or not actually to record interactions and ver verify if methods were called correctly okay okay so how can we write the uh, mock for this uh, user profile service and uh, what do, what does it mean by mocking let me write it and explain so uh, this is user profile service mock uh, user profile okay user profile service now where fetch profile called or not is something I want to validate whether it's calling its dependency or not and uh, whether the parameters are passed correctly or not where user profile id is i just want to validate it sorry it's a uh, string now i copy paste the same thing but here what we validate is we oh sorry this is equal to sorry this is equal to false 
so what I do is uh, it is called okay it is called and the last user ID is user ID okay of course it is written in nil uh, will come to this part so this is my mock using this mock I, I now I will know whether this fetch user profile is uh, profile manager is calling with this fetch user profile or not so if I check uh, the property this this variable now uh, this property fetch profile call uh, is becoming true or not after calling the uh, get display name then I can understand okay the dependency is getting called and the parameters also properly passed uh, if I if we validate the last user ID so useful when you want to ensure that certain code paths are being executed so here what I wanted to validate is uh, when I do this uh, when I call this actually this is getting called when I when I call profile managers uh, get display name I want to see whether this uh, fetch user profile is getting called or not and also uh, getting called that is that, that is first thing and also whether the properties arguments what are the arguments are getting passed correctly or not now let's quickly go to the uh, test and let's do the let's use the mock let's say mock is equal to user profile service mock uh, manager we already have now I don't pass the stuff I pass my mock manager we already have now I I, I don't need to consider whether display name is coming correctly or not why because with the help of first steps we already did it let me write it like this steps now mocks correct the first part that means uh, if, if the dependency is predetermined if which profile is giving a uh, default profile uh, a service response uh, profile manager how the profile manager is behaving whether it is giving the proper display name or not, we already validated now the mocking that means uh, we are not worried about get display name for uh, some user ID but what we are worried about is whether the fetch profile service is the dependency is getting that means the path uh, the code of execution is happening properly or not and the arguments are getting properly passed or not no for checking it uh, uh, this is asset asset uh, true now I'm by because this we are calling uh, we are making it true if the method calls so it should be true if that is not getting true then this test case will fail okay and also the user ID is getting passed correctly or not correct if I am the same user ID has to be correct so optional types okay this cannot be used no okay not equal to nil let's, let's say that's fine or or I can test mock dot if uh, or let me say uh, if user id sorry if user id is equal to mock dot uh, sorry let me do some optional binding here now i can check it here is equal to i'm sorry is equal to the one that we have given which is one two two three three pretty much this one correct since this is optional we have to bind it now let's run the same testing and see whether mocks are working or not okay optional types okay i am supposed to be using the binded value okay sorry about that and let's run this test cases again so with steps we're able to check the behavior of uh, the profile manager when a default value uh, when a predetermined uh, value is given and with the mocks we can see the steps of execution useful when you want to ensure that certain code paths are being uh, executed properly uh, cannot convert value of tab string to expected argument okay it's, it's, it's equal actually equal both values are equal or not now let me remove this so that we can see both and let me run this test example x 
excellent excellent see everything so without testing with n number of users n number of profiles whether what profile if, if given a profile if profile is coming or not uh, from the service response if the service fails response comes as nil if the service is giving this so most of the scenarios on top of this profile manager and this fetch user profile I, we have validated and uh, it saves us a lo lot of time in manual testing unit testing etc so that's basically the purpose of uh, stubs and mocks uh, so just to summarize st stubs are uh, for testing the profile manager uh, uh, behavior when the service returns a profile you can we can use a stub so and uh, mocks are generally mocks generally we use it uh, so st stubs basically it uh, they provide a controlled environment this is a control uh, why because you are giving the values and a predetermined behavior so for this service we are giving a controlled and predetermined uh, behavior uh, during testing so it pretty much helps isolate the profile manager from external dependencies like this api call etc that's the use of stub that's what we uh, we mean when you when we are saying like okay i'm writing the stub for this uh, model or method or object and uh, mock server testing the profile manager actually is making a call to the fetch user profile uh, service uh, service or not and whether the arguments are pa passed properly or not so uh, generally mocks are to record interactions and verify if methods were called correctly or not and uh, uh, they are very useful as i said for the uh, to ensure that certain code paths are being executed um, so mainly the testing focus for stub is useful when we want to test the behavior of the system under test on controlled outputs from its dependencies on controlled outputs from this uh, dependencies and mocks are useful when we want to test the interactions between uh, uh, the system under test and its dependencies system under test is profile manager and the dependency is user profile service so this uh, these we call them as test doubles uh, we uh, in any programming language we usually write this type of stubs and mocks so that uh, offline also we can run the app and pretty much it saves a lot of time if you write multiple stubs uh, so that we don't need multiple credentials and we don't need to worry about whether our server is down or not but here one thing i want to stress is see uh, when we look at the mock see actually it is having a stub over here that means instead of returning nil i can actually pass a user profile response so that i can actually avoid writing a stub correct the mock is uh, uh, the mock itself acts as a stub as well so okay when but uh, but uh, to be frank uh, this observation is correct but uh, in many cases especially in modern testing frameworks and practices uh, that lines between mocks and stubs can blur a mock uh, as we have uh, seen uh, can indeed behave as a stub uh, and uh, uh, by controlling the output of a method uh, you see basically the distinction is more about intent and how we use the test double in our uh, uh, test uh, as i said stub is uh, stub the intent of uh, uh, stub is uh, the behavior uh, control intent of behavior control whereas mock is intent of interaction verification uh, it's for checking the behavior it's for checking the interaction so that's where uh, uh, the line uh, that, and that's where there is a line between stub and mock and uh, why so if if you ask me why we have uh, we have to write a separate uh, stub when we can already have that inside a mark so there are a couple of reasons one thing is simplicity uh, stubs can be simpler because they only control behavior and uh, don't have to record interactions it is simple but here as we need to record the interaction we need to validate the uh, default arguments pa passed etc so this can make them easier uh, to understand the developers especially for more complex scenarios or when new team members are reading the tests so that's where uh, writing a separate stub is very useful and also the expressiveness having distinct mock and uh, stub classes can make the test more expressive and immediately clear in their intent and uh, someone reading the test can immediately uh, understand whether the focus is on the interaction verification or the behavior control and uh, stubs if we write it uh, we can reuse we, we can reuse them uh, uh, for the configuration for example this stub can be reused correct why because this stuff is giving uh, it always gives a defined predefined user response 
so however it's worth noting that the distinction is somewhat, somewhat academic and the best practice is that is the one that works for our team uh, and provides the clearest most maintainable test uh, if using a combined mock or stub is clearer and more maintainable for our context then it's a good practice uh, to use a combined uh, uh, mock and uh, stub instead of separating them but it, it, it it's again based on our team uh, and, and the test cases that we are writing so it's pretty much it depends on that so this is very uh, important especially uh, uh, for the purpose of writing the unit testing uh, unit testing of our uh, objects models or methods uh, to understand what is a stub to understand what is a mock uh, this usually we see in our code bases like uh, ending with stub, ending with mock. Uh, generally, most of, most of the uh, developers avoid uh, stubbing. Uh, they go with mocking. Why? Because in single class they can uh, have mocking and stubbing as well. So, and uh, there are some tools also available uh, like uh, uh, pods like sorcery, uh, which automatically generates. Imagine uh, for this for this simple uh, protocol and for this uh, uh, for, for this simple protocol and for this simple method we have to write uh, this uh, th this much of code for writing the steps and uh, mocks what if if, uh, if we are having some multiple protocols and methods so every time developer has to write a step write a mock instead of that what a, what about a uh, uh, a pod helping you uh, by just giving it a command saying that okay uh, it should be auto mockable it should be auto uh, with the default value of this and the function should have a default written value of this correct so there is something called sorcery pod uh, which actually helps us uh, uh, in writing these uh, stubs and mocks that we'll discuss in our next video tutorial but uh, uh, before having this sorcery uh, pod knowledge I thought like okay having some knowledge on stubs and mocks and what is a stub what is a mock what is the difference and how they help us in unit testing I thought like this would uh, uh, would be like a prerequisite to understand the source report so that's where I have come up with this video tutorial of stubs and mocks hope this uh, uh, tutorial is useful for you thank you